Seven things your feet can tell you about your liver. Hi, I'm an endocrinologist. I'm an internist. My name is Ahmed Ergin, a practicing physician in Florida. Did you know that your feet really can hold secret messages about your liver's health? Yep, that is true. So let's get ready to decode these footy mysteries with us, right? So number one would be yellowing of the skin and nails. So look out for that sunshine yellow tint. It could be your liver giving you a sign. So why do these sunshine yellow nails pop up when your liver is playing up? You would ask, right? Well, let's dive into a little bit of science. Your liver is a top-notch detoxifier, tidying up your body by filtering out harmful substances. One of these substances is bilirubin, a yellowish pigment. But when your liver is having a rough day or month or a year, it may struggle with its cleaning duties, causing excess bilirubin to build up in your body. And voila, your nails start looking like they have just had a funky manicure with jaundice yellow. Remember folks, it's not a fashion statement. It is a cry for help from your liver. Number two, swelling and edema. If your feet decide to become a little balloons, it might be your liver staging a water party. Now, let's pop the balloon on this one. Why do your feet blow up like a pair of balloon animals when your liver is not feeling so well? The culprit behind this is swell fast is a condition called edema, right? Here's a science for you a little bit. When your liver is under the weather, it also fails to produce enough of a protein called albumin. This little protein maestro usually maintains the balance of fluid in your body. So when it is off duty, the fluids decide to throw a wild party, flooding into body tissues and causing swelling, you name it, especially in your lower extremities. So folks, those puffy feet aren't just a sign you need bigger shoes. They might be your liver calling for a lifeboat. Number three about spider veins. No, we're not talking about webs here, but these little guys might want to warn you about something liver related. Let's unravel the mystery of our third sign, the spider veins. These are not your friendly neighborhood spider or spider men's webs. They are definitely spinning a tail about your liver health. So why do these tiny web-like veins decide to make an appearance in the worst places? It is all down to your liver's relationship with your blood vessels. Your liver, when healthy, helps regulate the flow of blood in your body. But when it is under strain, this regulation can take a hit, causing pressure to build up in what we call portal vein, which is the big vein that carries the blood to your liver. This is also called portal hypertension. It's the, you know, to make it fancy, like we doctors like to sound like that, right? Can force the blood to find alternative routes back to your heart, leading to formation of these tiny spider-like veins on the surface of your skin, particularly on your feet and legs. So if you spot a spider vein, it might not be the Spider-Man saying hello, but your liver waving a little red flag. Number four is itchy feet. Oh my God, that is the worst. These puppies might be trying to tell you something. And no, it is not just because of that new pair of socks you got on Amazon. It is uh, because... The itchy feet, medically known as pruritus, again to sound fancy, sometimes be more than just annoying sensation. It may be your liver sending an SOS. Why would a liver problem make your feet itch, you, you would ask, right? Well, let me lay it down for you. 
your liver is feeling under the weather, struggles to perform its detox duties again efficiently. And one of those duties is to filter out what we call bile salts, right? These salts, when accumulated, can end up in your bloodstream and make their way to your skin, causing that maddening itch. So folks, if your feet are itching like crazy, it might not be just a forgotten mosquito bite or a wool allergy. It could be your liver trying to get your attention. Number five, clubbing of the toes. We are not starting a new dancing trend, folks, okay? But if your toes want to party this way, it might be time to check on your liver. Now, let's shuffle onto the dance floor with our fifth sign, right? Clubbing of the toes. Don't get too excited, folks. We are not talking about boogieing down at the local disco. This kind of clubbing is when your toes and fingers take on a bulbous club-like appearance and your nails start to curve downwards like the hull of a boat. It is quite the spectacle, but it is not the kind of club anyone wants to join. So what is the deal with this funky foot transformation when your liver is feeling a little under the blue? Well, the exact reason is a still bit of a mystery to medical field, but it is thought to be related to low oxygen levels in your blood, a common issue when your liver is not up to snuff. This lack of oxygen can cause changes in the cells at the tips of your toes, leading them to proliferate and resulting in this distinctive clubbing. So, Folks, if you notice your toes starting to club, it is not them trying to start a new dance craze. It might be just your liver saying, I'm in distress, help me. We are down to number six. What if you see some pale or white nails? Oh no, we're not talking about those trendy nail colors. Your liver might be pulling a sneaky trick on you on your toenails right so pale and white nails it's not about hitting the latest nail color trend is your nails are looking rather pale or even white it's because when your liver is not in top-notch form it struggles to process the nutrients from the food you eat including iron Iron deficiency can cause a condition known as anemia, which can give your skin and nails a pale or whitish look. Iron plays a key role in giving blood it is red color, and when there is not enough iron, your blood cannot carry oxygen around your body as effectively, leading to paler skin and nails. Again, if your nails have lost the rosy glow, it is not them trying to keep up with the fashion trends. It might be your liver asking you to iron out some issues. Number seven, dry and cracked skin. Not exactly the kind of crack you would want to have on your feet. But don't worry, we are here to guide you to the possible liver connection. Now, let's step into our seventh sign, dry and cracked skin. We already talked about a little bit of dryness, but what about the cracked, right? Talking about the Sahara Desert level dryness here. Not just a bit of uh, winter chapping or whatnot. Who knew your liver could play a part in this parched party, right? So what is the link between your liver and your skin feeling so parched? like as if you're walking on a barefoot while in the desert. Well, your liver, again, when it's not doing so well, helps to normally break down the old blood cells, including the ones that carry the oxygen, that carry a protein, I'm sorry, called albumin. Now, albumin is a master multitasker in the body, responsible for keeping our blood from leaking out of blood vessels and maintaining the balance of fluid in our bodies. It also plays a crucial role in keeping our skin moisturized and supple. 
but when the liver is under the weather and cannot properly break down these old blood cells and albumin goes down you may end up with low albumin levels so that means less moisture for your skin leading to our not so friend dry and cracked skin so folks if you are slathering on lotion but your feet still feel like sandpaper it might not be the harsh soap or the cold weather it could be again your liver playing the dry humor card on you so if any of these footy issues sound familiar to you don't hesitate reach out to a healthcare professional who can help decode the messages your liver might be sending through your feet these signs can happen from other problems as well so don't assume your liver is failing or anything just get it checked remember folks your feet are the loyal messengers of your liver and so many other organs as well so take care of them and they will take care of you thanks for watching remember to subscribe share and like this video and i will see you in the next video hey guys i hope you are enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already uh, if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there i think that will help you too